Hello lovers and welcome back to my channel. This is Auntie Sammy's Diaries and I am obviously Auntie Sammy. If you're new here, please stay, please subscribe, it's free. Please like, please comment and please share this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back honey. Thank you for coming back lover. So today's topic is sort of a continuation of the past two weeks videos which were about preparing for an intimate night out and night in. As you can see from the title, today is a story time. Fortunately, I don't have a beverage with me, which is weird. <laughs> but it's okay, because this story is not too long. It's about the first time I had a guy sleep over at my place. So I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> So the year was 2010, it was my first year in varsity, yes my first year was in 2010, I was a first year student at NMMU, <laughs> at NMMU, um, I lived alone, I was staying in Summer Strand, so when I got to be, I had a guy, yeah. I had a boyfriend again actually, which I had been dating from the previous year. But we broke up around February, March. March maybe. Then fine, big girl was having fun, living her best first year life. That year was really awesome. Having fun living my best first year life. Until about maybe May, June. I think this happened after I came back from the June holidays actually. So, um, went back to PE. Hey, hey, it desires. The desires of the body started being alive and kicking. Yeah, well, so I started craving a little bit of affection, yana. But I didn't pay too much mind to it because I didn't have a potential candidate. So, I didn't have a potential candidate, so I didn't pay too much mind to it. So this one time, my friends and I went out, um, and then I met, okay, I saw this guy, I'm not going to say I met him, because I knew him from high school, but he went to a different high school than the one I went to, in East London as well. So I met this guy, um, so we started talking, because we hadn't seen each other in quite a while, maybe almost two years. So we started talking, okay, this side, blah, blah, blah. And even in high school, um, there was a little bit of chemistry between us. Fine, uh, we exchanged numbers um, and went our separate ways for that evening. The following week, it was on a Friday. I remember it very well. It was on a Friday. <laughs> um, chilling at my place, bored, just watching TV. The desire, that little monkey, woke up. I was like girl girl you need to get them so i'm like i was like okay let me text this guy text him i'm like what are you up to he's like i'm just chilling at my place like do you want to come over because i'm like i don't want to go over to his place i think he lived in a commune or whatever like do you want to come over and he was like yeah cool fine or figure okay and we had a great adult time i thought he was not even going to sleep over like in my mind, I assumed he was just going to tap and go because that is what I was desiring, a tap and go type of situation. And mind you, this was my first tap and go situation. But I'm not overly, overly attached to man. Okay. Oh, guy sleeps over, cuddles and all. Okay, fine. Wake up in the morning. I'm assuming the guy's going to get up and go. <laughs> oh, no, honey. Oh, guy, oh, Paulile, browsing, browsing the channels on the TV, chill vibes. So I'm thinking, hey, when is this guy going to go home? Then I get hungry. I'm like, okay, I make breakfast first. Like, I was never too keen on making food for guys. I'm like, I'm not your girlfriend or your wife or anything. But I make breakfast for us. Um, and then I take a shower. I will, guy and I, get up, takes a shower while I tidy up. I does he not hop back into bed, Jani? When are you leaving? 
Hi, and so I'm texting my friend. I had mixed it at the time, so I'm texting my friend. But he went to. When is this guy going to leave? Oh, my friend is like, Mukoti, like, kick him out. I'm like, okay, I, this is awkward. Like, he stayed, guys, the entire day, Saturday, until in the evening. <laughs> Fine, so in Dinglo wife, I'm cooking, making, made breakfast, made lunch, made supper, because I'm hungry as well, so okay, fine. We slept. I was still trying to get some, no, Galoku, you came for one session. Why now? It's about your weekend special. Then I was like, no, I'm not feeling good. Then we, we just slept. Next morning, guys, still there chilling mind you must he didn't bring a toothbrush not a change of clothes nothing he's just chilling eating my food mind you i'm a student you are eating my food he is not contributing anything he is not buying takeaways nothing chilling watching tv eating i'm like okay so i text um my guy friends i'm like wait two guys <laughs> How do I handle the situation? So they say, okay, just say we're going to a meeting. And at the time, there was okay. IFA. So we actually went to the IFA meeting, Shami. But even when I was telling him, but, uh, okay, um, I'm leaving. I'm going to a meeting. He was chilled. He was like, oh, okay. I'm like, hi, you guys. This guy from Ebay. <laughs> okay. I leave him there. My friends pick me up. They I didn't go to this meeting. Like they are laughing at me the entire way to the meeting. But Sana, what did you give this guy? Why are you gonna have <laughs> Fine. After the meeting, I'm like, ah guys, it is on the But I didn't go to him on the Sunday. Cause hey, no I don't know. So I was like, no, no, I'm gonna kick him out. Um he has to go. Cause He's only getting food. Was he's no longer getting yum yum because I but <laughs> okay. So I come back from the meeting. He's still there chilling. Um, I cook supper, and then while I'm cooking supper, I left my phone in the bedroom. So I'm like, okay, I go get my phone. Do I not find the guy going through my phone? Ne? Comics it must had saved chats whereby you could save a chat. So I saved a conversation yam ne friend yam li sasi discussa ye naba uam by nini. Save that conversation. He is deep within the layer saved conversation talking about him by one by nini. If it was me, guys, I would be so embarrassed I would like get dressed and leave. No. I took my phone from his hands or I said and continued with life. Browse on TV. So forget we had supper. Said it was Monday morning now. Monday morning, I got up, took a shower, get got dressed because I'm going to campus. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I have an eight o'clock class. He's like, oh, okay, fine. And I pulled it down. I'm like, no, so that I can make my bed. So he got up, um, started getting dressed made the bed he went to he's like so what time are you gonna come back from class that time i don't know i'm like hi oh booty are you homeless or what and he was not even homeless like i, I don't know what was going on with that guy that i don't know what okay i'll walk you to campus hey, hey, hey. mind you now i lived at gomery gomery place if you know pe you'll know gomery place and i'm going to south campus so as we're walking down, I'm getting more irritated because he's asking me. So as we're walking down, I'm getting more irritable with him because he's asking me questions. When am I going to come back from school? Hi, Bo Njani. <laughs> Fine, when we get to... Was it Ivana or something? But there was another street there. I'm like, you know what? I'll be good here. Um, I think it will be a shorter route for you if you take this left here to go to your place i'll see you some other time and i have never seen him again since like you why why like i could not believe it 
you ask a guy to come over just just once just once I was born in Oakland, um so i call that a lesson learned after that uh i don't think i'll, I'll let a guy sleep over for about <laughs> nine years after oh no no for about maybe three or four years after that also not a good experience also not a good experience but it's a story for another day do you have any similar stories if you do please comment down below let's chat let's have fun thank you so much for watching this short story time <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it um i'll see you again next sunday happy self-care sunday lovers